This is African American History is American History. Welcome. Woodrow Wilson extended and defended segregation in the federal civil service. Black workers were forced to use inferior segregated washrooms, and screens were set up to separate black and white workers in the same government offices. African Americans protested Wilson's policies. Wilson now confronted a new generation of militant African American leaders, men like William Monroe Trotter, W.E.B. Du Bois, and Marcus Garvey, who had begun to challenge the conservative status quo. In 1914, William Monroe Trotter had a highly publicized meeting with President Woodrow Wilson, in which he protested Wilson's introduction of segregation into the federal workplace. Mr. President, we are here to renew our protest against the segregation of colored employees in the departments of our national government. We had appealed to you to undo this race segregation in accord with your duty as president and with your pre-election pledges to colored American voters. We stated that such segregation was a public humiliation and degradation. It was entirely unmerited and far-reaching in its injurious effects. The white people of this country, as well as I, wish to see the colored people progress and admire the progress they have already made and want to see them continue along independent lines. However, there is a great prejudice against colored people. It will take 100 years to eradicate this prejudice, and we must deal with it as practical men. Segregation is not humiliating, but a benefit, and ought to be so regarded by you gentlemen. If your organization goes out and tells the colored people of the country that it is a humiliation, then they will so regard it. But if you do not tell them so, and regard it rather as a benefit, they will regard it the same. The only harm that will come will be if you cause them to think it is a humiliation. It is not in accord with the known facts to claim that the segregation was started because of race friction of white and colored federal clerks. It is untenable in view of the established facts to maintain that the segregation is simply to avoid race friction. For 50 years, white and colored clerks have been working together in peace and harmony and friendliness, doing so even through two democratic administrations. Soon after your inauguration began, segregation was drastically introduced in the Treasury and Postal Departments by your appointees. And because you If this organization is ever to have another hearing before me, it must have another spokesman. Your manner offends me. Your tone with its background of passion offends But I have no passion in me, Mr. President. You are entirely mistaken. You misinterpret my earnestness for passion. This is African American History is American History.